Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the question number four and four a, which is to explain the operation of a super heterodyne receiver. So let's directly get into the answer. So in super heterodyne receiver, at the receiver side, we we will be having an antenna, a radio frequency amplifier. This is antenna. We will be having a mixer block. In this, the local oscillated signal will be passed. And this both, this both signals will be passed to the mixer, and then it will be passed to an intermediate frequency amplifier. And then this signal will be sent to a detector where demodulation will be occurred and then it will be sent to an audio amplifier audio frequency amplifier it will be given to a transducer like speaker or printer or anything that's it this is the block diagram for the super heterodyne receiver and uh, everything will be written in the words or in the sentences so let's write the sentences which will explain what is happening in each block so here at the first step the antenna is converting the electromagnetic waves into an electrical wave so we will write that point that electromagnetic wave is converted into electrical wave by antenna and then as the antenna will receive the all frequency uh, signals and to detect the desired frequency we will use the radio frequency amplifier and uh, it will also amplify what the frequency frequency of the signals are received by, by the radio frequency amplifier so the antenna receives all frequency signals so to get the desired frequency we use RF amplifier and then the RF amplifier the RF amplifier also amplifies the weak signal which are received by the RF amplifier so this received signal will be sent to a mixer and the local oscillated signal will also be sent to the mixer and then uh, this will be converted this desired frequency will be converted into a medium frequency uh, with the help of the local oscillator so let's write that point the mixer will convert desired frequency signal into a medium frequency signal with the help of the local oscillator so when we are receiving the signal here we are getting the uh, medium frequency signal this medium frequency signal is also known as intermediate frequency signal so here we are receiving intermediate frequency signal and uh, now the intermediate frequency signal will be sent to the intermediate frequency amplifier where the signal will get amplified so the intermediate frequency is amplified by the intermediate frequency amplifier here and now at the intermediate frequency amplifier the selectivity sensitivity and fidelity increases which is a very good thing at receiver and now the signal will be sent to a detector where demodulation of the signal will be occurred so we'll write that point the detector will perform demodulation of the signal and original signal will be detected and hence the original signal is sent to the output transducer which we will be getting uh, like if we send 
at the input we send like uh, a message signal like uh, it may be voice signal or email or anything then the same thing we will get at the output transducer and that's it for the super heterodyne receiver here why it is called a super heterodyne receiver is that the radio frequency amplifier and the local oscillator generates the intermediate frequency that is why we call it a super heterodyne receiver we haven't mentioned that point i think so we'll write it when high frequency is converted to medium frequency then this process is called heterodyne that's why this receiver is called super heterodyne receiver and i hope you have understood it let's uh, once again go through it the electromagnetic waves are converted into electrical wave by the antenna and this antenna receives all the frequency of the signal so to get a desired frequency we will use the uh, radio frequency amplifier the radio frequency amplifier will take the desired frequency uh, signal and it will also amplify the weak signals in the radio frequency amplifier then this uh, frequency signal and uh, the local os oscillator will get into the mixer and uh, it will produce an intermediate frequency signal and this process is called heterodyne due to which this system is called super heterodyne receiver and then this intermediate frequency signal is sent to intermediate frequency amplifier which will get amplified and then the signal is Uh, sent to a detector where demodulation will occur where the mm, modulated signal will be converted into a message signal and here the audio frequency amplifier the signal will be again amplified and then it will be sent to the output transducer uh, where we will get whatever input signal was sent that's it from my side guys if you understood the heterodyne receiver then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates i will upload the next questions really soon So yeah bye